There are many ways to populate natural scenes in Blender, but it is better and faster to use add-ons and asset packs. In this video, we're going to talk about five of them and see how they can help you achieve more. Number five, Grass Vault. This is a Blender add-on in the form of high quality asset pack containing different species of weed, grass and moss, as well as various kinds of debris that can be used to add a touch of realism and imperfection to exterior visualization scenes. You can populate these scenes with different vegetation species using particle systems, which is a nice way of covering a large surface very quickly. Also, it is possible to add plants individually if you want to have more control over the final result. In addition to that, you can use paint density or length maps to be able to scatter plants across different surfaces in a scene manually and quickly while containing a high degree of control over the distribution of those plants and species. You can even use multiple particle systems at once if you need to. Number four, Jungle Scapes. Jungle Scapes is a high quality asset pack of diverse jungle and rainforest vegetation. It contains a library of 27 species of plants, including tropical trees, herbaceous plants, grasses, and large leaved shrubs. Each plant species includes from five up to 15 vegetations. These plants are also animated, which can be very helpful in real-time architectural visualization. And they can also be used in video games, movies, illustrations, and in interactive experiences. The collection is divided into two types, static and dynamic, giving you a continuously looping animation, which ranges from 150 to 170 frames at a rate of 24 to 30 frames per second, depending on the complexity of the plants. The entire pack uses principled BSDF materials and it is prepared for both Cycles and Eevee. There are also similar packs from the same creator like Creeperscapes, which is a ready-to-go library with 21 species of detailed creeper and vine plants which consist of 437 models in total, with up to 45 variations for each model. Also there is Verticalscapes, which is a library of 27 plant groups with 5 variations for each a 9 wall set, giving you the possibility for creating a limited green wall design. And there is also grasscapes, which contains 25 species of fully animated render-ready ornamented grasses with up to 8 variations for each family. Number 3, True Grass. As the name of it suggests, True Grass is able to generate realistic grass with 8 grass species, 3 weed species, 5 plants of flowers, 5 mushroom species in addition to ground debris. In total, it comes with 22 PBR realistic grass assets that you can play with using a lot of different settings to generate the needed results. The parameters that allow you to use this add-on come with intuitive UI which allows you to adjust particle settings and change material settings with a custom material for each model. This add-on can be a time saver for creating scenes with realistic grass that can make outdoor scenes more believable. Number 2. Tree and Grass Library this is a library of optimized and realistic 3D vegetation, mostly trees and grass. It features a variety of trees, grass, flowers, weed, palms, shrubs, and other things for architectural visualization, environmental design, rendering forests, landscapes, or any other scenes that could use a bit of varied greenery. Using it, you can quickly populate selected objects with either pre-made particle presets of grass, or you can create your own. Each asset has a rendered preview and can be easily added through the add-on. By default, the assets are linked, but you can also choose and add them as editable objects to convert them later. In addition to that, adding new assets is very easy with trees and grass library. You can create your nature scenes with just a few clicks by selecting the asset from the library. You can also use the snap to ground button to make sure that the trees are safely planted and avoid floating trees or dragging trees one by one to the ground. There is also a feature to automatically randomize selected assets so their scale and rotation differ, given the appearance of variations like what we can see in nature. Number 1. Scatter This is one of the best and most powerful scattering tools that can be used with Blender, because it includes the right features to make the process of scattering stuff such as grass and vegetation a very simple task. In order to streamline your workflow, the add-on contains scattering presets. You can use them to get things done quickly and then easily adjust the result inside the tweaking area. 
The Scatter add-on has pre-made ecosystems that have a specific atmosphere and allows you to create believable and realistic scenes in a very short period of time. You can choose the right one that you feel it fits the scenes and start adding more details or change the way it looks. You can also create non-destructive pathways in the grass. This means the Scatter add-on will allow you to create paths in the grass using splines and choose any length you want. In addition to the ability to go in back and changing it later if you change your mind or change something in the scene. There is also a non-destructive camera clipping and calling. After you create a camera and set up clipping, the add-on will generate the vegetation ecosystem in the field of view of the camera only. This means if you move the camera or the viewing angle, the vegetation ecosystem will be generated accordingly. This can be very handy if you have a slow computer or the scene you are creating is very large. Generally speaking, I would say if your work includes populating natural scenes or architectural visualization scenes with natural assets such as plants and trees, I personally believe that it is very wise to use these pre-made assets and add-ons that can help you get a better and faster result. If you are interested in one of those, you can find links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.